We're talking about controversial cures, and this next one has me the most excited of them all. Can energy waves like these help treat depression? Instead of drugs, could magnetic therapy be the controversial solution to pull your brain out of the darkness? Depression became my life, and I have been through about 20 different therapists, and I have been on every antidepressant you can think of, and they wouldn't work. After researching her options, this 46-year-old woman turned to TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation, which uses pulsed magnetic energy to stimulate and reset neurons in the brain. Using magnets for depression may sound unorthodox, but this groundbreaking therapy is being studied at top medical centers. TMS is promising, but still controversial even though it is non-invasive and approved by the FDA to treat severe depression. In my case, TMS saved my life. There's no doubt. Is TMS hype or the most outlandish cure yet for depression? It's controversial, it's unorthodox, and it's revolutionary. But I believe this could be an effective treatment. And before we explain why this might work, let me show you the area of the brain we think is responsible for depression. I've shown you brains before, but this is vitally important if you're going to understand this approach to taking care of depression. The brain is oriented, so the eyes are up front here, and the balance area in the back. So the front of the body, back of the body. And if you look at the brain, the part in the front is called the prefrontal cortex, and it regulates moods. It has interconnections. This is the prefrontal cortex here. If you divide this in half, it has connections to the rest of the brain, including an area called the hippocampus. It's sort of the eyes of the emotional system. And it links emotions that you're feeling and processing up here in the prefrontal cortex to the outside world. So, how can magnets treat this? Dr. Tariq Pereira is a specialist in this area. He's an assistant professor of psychiatry at Columbia University. He's here with his patient, Suzanne. Thank you both for being here. I appreciate it. So, Dr. Pereira, talk to me about this revolutionary and very controversial approach. Yes, we have this device, which can provide a very focused magnetic field to the part of the brain that mediates depression. What TMS does is it activates that region. If it keeps activating it, it teaches the brain to activate it and then the brain can pick it up and maintains that activity. And as a result, it is the first, it's actually a paradigm shift in psychiatry, it is the first biologically based treatment for depression mm -hmm. in, in the history of psychiatry. Now we can finally go in and in a very focused way treat the brain just like you would in, uh, treat the heart. So we are really much more biologically based with this treatment. And Suzanne is joining us today. Now tell me honestly, was this process helpful for you? Uh, life changing. It was. Life changing. Um, I pretty much about the third week, um, I felt like a cloud had lifted, dark cloud as we were talking about, um, lifted and I was at dinner, and my son looked at my husband and said, Dad, she's different. She's a new person. Mom's back. Mom is back. And the, I was that woman on that video. And it was, to hear that come from him was all the difference in the world. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, so let me show everybody what Suzanne went through. Uh, in an animation. And this is how researchers say that magnets work to ease depression. And it's you know, set up this complex set of, electro of electrical and, and signals in the brain. So this is a magnet, right? And the magnet stimulates those coils, electromagnetic waves. And those magnets are placed on the right side of the brain. Those red waves that we're showing there go down to the prefrontal cortex. They are affecting these neurons because uh, magnets, the, the energy will do that. It gets into the neuron and it moves the ions back and forth. So the neurons will talk to each other differently. It turns the cells on in the brain that have been put to sleep. It also changes the blood flow to the brain. It enlarges those blood vessels. It allows you to take more oxygen. Those electric ma magnetic waves will create a cascade of, of events which change the electrical pathways by which we process information. Dr. Adam Shapiro is helping us. Uh, thank you, for Dr. Shapiro, for joining us. Um, and Dr. Shapiro, walk us through how we're going to be doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is what we would do at the beginning of a treatment. Beginning of the treatment is we're going to find the part of the brain that controls your thumb. Once we figure out where the thumb is, we can determine the dose and the location we need to go to to treat for depression. So all the action, though, is this magnet right here. Right. Everything else is just holding Suzanne in place, so it's, it's, it's targeted to the right spot. Right. Okay. 
All right. Let's move this one. So we're going to look at your hand. Should I hold her or just let it go? We, uh, we she, can, she can have her. Okay. So we call this the hitchhiker's position. Okay. And we're going to be observing for the thumb twitch. And this is what uh, Dr. Oz uh, shows you where they have good positioning in the head. Okay. So we've done it all very exactly. Here we go, Suzanne. I'm going to give you a pulse. Mm -hmm. You see one more? Yes, yeah, this is really good. Oh, could you all see that? Uh, Suzanne's thumb move. Do it again. We'll do it one more time. You, you didn't do it on purpose. You couldn't. You didn't. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a strong do. So we go down a little bit. It's a strong do. <laughs> so it's an involuntary movement. It shows that the electromagnetic waves are go. penetrating through the skull to the brain in the right go. spot. Okay. So that's about exactly how much we need. A little okay. bit of a twitch okay. of the thumb. So now we know that we are in that region. Then the computer will calculate how much forward we need to go to the prefrontal cortex to treat the depression. All right, so this is now, now we're ready to do the treatment. And that provides a rapid pulse of TMS for four seconds with a 26 second break. And Suzanne, you know how it feels, yep. right? You ready for it? You don't feel anything when, when this hits? Should I hold your hand or get away from you? Suzanne, you wanna? Oh no, I feel, um, when it hits, it's like just a tapping on your head. Okay, here it goes. Here we go. So there's no pain. That's it. That's it. Okay, and, and it's called TMS for for transcranial trans magnetic stimulation. So if you're all asking for it, you can use those words TMS. You can, or you can use both. magnetic stimulation, which might be easier for you to remember. And, and how, how how many treatments usually does it take? You treat every day. Uh, but five days a week, so you can spread that over a seven-day period, and we do between three to six weeks until the person not just gets better, but gets completely well, and that's our goal. Completely well. Right. So we're really treating for remission, not just response. So, I mean, you've done research on this. Right. It seems to be you know, an FDA-approved device. Right. So why is every psychiatrist in the country not thinking about this? Uh, for their patients? That's a very good question. And in fact, it is spreading. So this was FDA approved three years ago. And in the last three years, there's almost 400 practices that provide it. What was it? Three years ago, it was approved. Right. How many of you have heard about this before today's show? This device has been available since my show launched three years ago. And not a single person here has heard about it. How can that be? Now, the problem, the limitation, is insurance, as you would guess. You know, most insurance plans would pay for it, but only after the fact. So we had to go through the appeals process, and even then... If I go from 20 medications to nothing and feel like I'm better, which is what I'm, that smile on your face seems revealed to me, I'd have that conversation with my insurer. Dr. Burr, thank you very much. Dr. Spur, okay. appreciate it. Suzanne, thank you for bringing this alive to us. All right, next.